By default, AutoCAD sets up the UCS in a world coordinate system. That means that the origin is at coordinates 0, 0, 0, a 0 for each axis. In AutoCAD LT, there are only two, X and Y. So it sets up the origin at those coordinates of 0, 0, and that angles facing east or to the right of your screen start at 0 degrees. So this line here is drawn at 0 degrees. This line here is drawn at 90 degrees. This line is 180. This line is 270. And then back to 360 being the same as 0. That way AutoCAD knows where everything is and you can interact with it accordingly. Now, there are times when you need to work with a different coordinate system. An example might be of a surveyor who needs to work with a coordinate system that is offset and maybe even rotated from like a point of commencement or some other land-based marker. I've opened up the civil example-imperial file to kind of give you an idea. This road and these lots are right in the middle and aligned with our user coordinate system. But what if we needed the road and lots to match this line here of the parcel? Well, we can draw lines with it and work in it, but we have to go through extra steps. We can do that. And that's where making a customized UCS or user coordinate system comes in very handy. Now, what we want to do is to use the UCS command to create or change the current UCS. And we can save it for later use. It can help us make special views for our drawings. It can do a lot of things in it. So to get started, just type in UCS and press enter. Or you can go up to the ribbon and go to the View tab. And here you have different preset views, top, bottom, left, right. These are all for the different 3D views. You can go to the View Manager to help create or make some. Or you can go up to the ribbon. Go to the View tab. And you need the Coordinate Panel. Now by default, this Coordinate Panel doesn't show up. And I'm not sure why it's set that way, but out of the box, that's what's happening. So we want it in here because we want to use our user coordinate system settings. Right click anywhere in the top of this gray area and the ribbon where there's no text. Go to the show panels. And if there are panels in here that you don't want to use, you can easily turn them off and on. But we want to show the coordinates panel for what we're doing here. So I'm going to go to it and click it and turn it on. That will load our coordinates panel. Here we can get to all of our UCS controls. We want to get to the UCS command, and this is it right here. One thing to note is the UCS icon. It is selectable, and most of the functionality here in the coordinates panel, you can get to here just by selecting it. We'll show you that in a little bit. But if you don't see the UCS icon, come up here and go to the UCS icon button, or just type UCS icon. That will turn it off and on. If you're never going to rotate your view, if you're not going to keep track of the, your coordinate system, then you can turn it off so that it's not there. And there you go. But for this exercise, we want it on. So we're going to keep it on. So now if we go to the UCS command, click it, we can make changes all we want to to this UCS. Now you see here in the command line, we have different options that we can use. There are several of them. And you use the option according to the information you have and according to what you want to do. So you can create a new UCS from the face of an object, from a named view, from the line work of an object. You can go to a previously used UCS. You can go to a saved view. You can go back to the world coordinates. Or you can make a change according to the X, Y, or Z axis or on the Z axis alone. The Z axes are only options available to AutoCAD and aren't available in AutoCAD LT. So if I pick Object or I type in OB, and remember in the command line when it gives you options to type in, the parts that are in blue you'll be able to type in. So I can type in OB for Object. Now I need to just follow the instructions. I pick the object that I want to align my UCS to. Let's say it's this line right here. And as I put my cursor over the top, it will highlight and show you what it's going to look like. Now, 
you can have your X and your Y rotate on it and come from different directions. You know, do you want your Y to be at the top or the bottom of this view? Well, to change that, just go to the different end of the line. This is the way I want mine to show. So I'm going to pick it. Now it doesn't rotate your view. It still looks the same, but you notice the icon is different and my crosshairs have been rotated. So if I draw a line and I turn on my ortho by pressing F8, that will constrain my line work to the X and Y axis. So now I can draw lines that are parallel to either of these lines in the axis. If I draw something like a rectangle, it's right there. It follows it perfectly. Now to draw a line like this, I would have to go into uh, several different steps into a long procedure, but I can draw it that way without switching my UCS. That's possible. But in this case, I don't have to. So to get everything back, I can go to UCS, and in this case, since my last UCS that I used was the world coordinate system, I can hit previous, or I can just hit W for world again, and that resets it. So it's very easy to do. Now let's look at another option here, UCS. I can pick the face of something, find a named view, previous view, or I can go about the x-axis or about the y-axis. I'll turn off my ortho command. You can see me rotating it about the x-axis. Now it doesn't look like it's changed much, but that's because it rotated it about the x-axis, so it's kind of spinning around it. Now let's reset that. Type in UCS and then W for world. Now let's look at it in a much easier view. Hit Z for Z axis. Since the Z axis is right here at that corner and it's coming straight at me right out of the screen, I can rotate my view this way. Now if I know what angle that I'm using, I can type it in. Or I can just align it with some other object. But here's my UCS. And I can type in UCS and then W to reset everything. Now before, and you probably saw me do it earlier, type in plan and W for world. That won't rotate my UCS. That only changes my view from whatever it was to the plan view. So there are two slightly different things. When you work in 3D, UCS can be a big help. There is a dynamic UCS feature that will automatically change your UCS to match the face of an object automatically and temporarily while you're working. That's very quick, very easy to work with. It's not available in AutoCAD LT because we don't do 3D in LT. And that's getting a little bit heavy for our course here, but I just wanted to let you know that that is something that's available. Now you can create your new UCS from scratch by picking you know, several different points. Um, rotating about an axis, matching an object, or using a previously used UCS. Or you can use the UCS icon itself. Here it is, we can find it and pick it. We've talked about grip edits on different things before. This has different grips for different things. So I can pick it here and just rotate the UCS icon. And now my UCS has been changed. You can pick it and rotate back. It can go from either direction. If I hover over it, I can give it different commands here as well, or I can just rotate it. If I go back to the origin part, I can move my UCS so that now this is coordinate 0, 0. I can move just the origin. I can move it and align it. Or I can reset it to the world coordinates. This is very useful, and this is one of the reasons why the coordinate panel no longer shows up by default in AutoCAD, is all of these buttons will have you do just what these few group things can do. Now you can save a UCS, set it up however you want, in any method that you want, then go to the UCS icon and right click. Now again, here you can get to a lot of the different UCS settings and properties. You can change your icon style to look different ways, change the size of it, 
change the line width, whatever you want to do, change the colors even. And once you make your UCS, you can save it. Go to Named UCS and then Save. And then type in a name. Give it whatever name you want. Now your UCS is going to be saved over here. This is the view cube. It's another way to navigate inside your drawing. You can click over here, make a new UCS, go to one that's saved, or go back to the world coordinate system. So as I'm working, and if I want to, I can go to my UCS, create an object from here, and now I can give it another name. Right click, named UCS, save, and I can call it whatever I want. I can call this one parcel view. So now I can quickly navigate between my different views. Just come up to the view cube and select the view you want. And you're very quickly working in your different views. That's very handy and a very useful tool. Now another way you might want to use a UCS is if you're making an isometric drawing or maybe a, a PNID sheet where you need to work at specific angles. You can create those. You can create a UCS, let's say at 45 degrees. I select my UCS and I grip edit it and I go to 45 degrees. I can save this view, call it 45 degrees. And now, my ortho turned on, I can draw a box that's at 45 degrees. I can switch back to my regular UCS, and I can start drawing a 3D looking box. Very easily, with very little effort. Though it's not in 3D, I've just drawn an isometric view, and it makes it easy to work in that. And I can rotate it back and forth very easily for different things. So there are a lot of ways to use, or to utilize the user coordinate system to customize your working situation depending on what you need to do, and it will make drawing things easier, especially with the ortho command turned on.